In this guide, we'll be covering the basics of payroll processing. The guide will consist of four parts, finalizing jobs, configuring payroll, generating payroll batches, and downloading payroll files. Let's get started. Finalizing jobs. Before job data can be exported to payroll, it must be final. To finalize a job, visit the job details, then click the Payouts tab. From there, click Review Job for finalization. The review screen is your last chance to review and modify payouts before they are final. Click the Finalize button to approve the listed payouts. You will see a warning that you will no longer be able to edit the job. Please take this warning to heart as a job will not be editable in Field Clock after this. Click Finalize it if you are sure this job should be paid as listed. Configuring Payroll Jobs can only be exported to payroll once they are finalized. Before exporting, you'll want to configure Field Clock with your payroll software settings. Go to the Admin section, then visit the Payroll Entities tab. Select the payroll entity you wish to edit, then click the Edit Payroll button. Select the payroll software you use from the drop-down. If your software is not listed, you can select Other and specify your own plain format. Don't worry if your software isn't listed. All payroll data can be exported as CSV files for your convenience. On the tabs below, enter any payroll codes that your system requires. For example, picking task in Field Clock might just be pick in your payroll software. Once you have mapped all of your payroll codes to Field Clock objects, click the Save button. Generating payroll batches. After your payroll entity is configured and jobs have been finalized, you're ready to export payroll data. Go to the Payroll section on the main menu. Exporting payroll data is done by creating payroll batches. A payroll batch is a collection of payouts that will be paid by a single payroll entity within a specified date range. For your convenience, when you have finalized jobs ready to be added to payroll batches, you will see a Payrolls to Process section. Clicking on your payroll entity in this list will automatically prepare a payroll batch for that entity with a date range encompassing all available payouts. You can also manually specify the entity and date range by clicking the Create New Batch button. Review the payroll to be exported, and if the entity and dates are correct, click the Generate Payroll Batch button. Once a payroll batch has been created, it cannot be edited. If you need to edit any existing payouts, you'll need to do so outside of Field Clock. If you find that you need to add new payouts, such as a job that got entered after the fact, you can create a new payroll batch for the same date range. Downloading Payroll Files All of your payroll batches will be listed in the payroll area. For convenience, they list the paying entity as well as the date range and a summary of payouts included in the batch. Payroll batches can be downloaded in three plus formats depending on your configuration. First, custom format for your payroll software if supported and configured. Second, printer-friendly detail view, an easy to read version that summarizes payouts for each employee in the batch. Third, printer-friendly by rate view, an easy to read version that groups payouts by rate for each employee in the batch. And fourth, CSV format that can be opened in Excel or other spreadsheet programs.